Hey guys, it's Lily LPS here, and today's video is something pretty exciting. I'm bringing you with me behind the scenes of my new video. If you've not yet seen my Chinese New Year special, there'll be a link in this eye in the corner or in the description below. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made the customs. I've got two customs I will be making, and since I don't want to make this video too long, I will be showing you little snippets of behind the scenes. The two customs I'll be making is a dragon and a rat, and you're probably wondering what are the significance behind these two animals. Well, the rat is because this year is the year of the rat, and the reason I've got a dragon in the video is, well, you'll just have to see my new video. On screen right now, I'll have some drawings of the characters I wanted to create, and I drew them out on my iPad. The things I'll be using in this video will be green stuff, which is what I use to sculpt, acrylic paint, you can use any type, I just find acrylic paint works best for me. I use a paintbrush to paint the small details like the eyes and little designs on it. And for the base coat and layer I use an airbrush to get a smooth layer and to make it not look so strokey, but that's my personal preference, like you can do whatever you feel is best. So let's get started. So here are the bases I'll be using. I've got this little lizard, which I've got three of currently, so I thought it would be a good way to use a double. And I've got this little mouse, which I'll be turning into a rat by adding a tail. And I don't know how I'm going to get rid of this small tail here, but I'll figure out a way, I guess. Yeah, let's start sculpting! It is currently the next day and I have left the customs to dry overnight so that they can be all hardened and easier to paint. I finished sculpting the rat custom but I could only get a few things done on the dragon. And I couldn't finish the dragon because the clay would all mush together so I needed some of it to be hard and some of it to still be workable so if that makes sense. Here is the rat so far. I had to sand down the tail that was already on it so I could make the tail longer so it didn't look so much like a mouse but more like a rat. And I added some details to make it look like a rat tail. And that was all the sculpting I needed to do. And the next stage is to paint this red, like the base coat with my airbrush. So I have almost completed this custom. And I just cut off the tail of this one and applied the tail here and I'm just working on that currently but I have done the eyes and this little bit at the back and the tusks but I still need to sand a few bits to make it all smooth and blend with the original plastic. It is a few days later and I have finished sculpting the customs and they are all dry and ready to sand and paint. So here we have the rat custom which, which her name is going to be May in the film. I sanded down the original tail on the plastic and then covered it with a bit of clay so it would be all smooth and I just need to sand that down so it's all smooth and blends into the plastic. This custom was most definitely the hardest and most complex custom because as you can see there's so much detail like there's the teeth, the tusks, the eyes, the head, the scales, the tail, the claws. Like I, it took a long time, like two days to make so I'm really happy with how it's looking so far and I can't wait to paint them. This one's base coat is going to be red, and this one's base coat is going to be green, so I'm going to go set up my airbrush so we can start painting them.
Here are the customs with their fully finished base coat painted on. Here we have May. And here we have Nyan. So here is my current progress with the customs. This is how my nine custom is looking currently. I have done mostly the colors and I still have, I still have a few more layers to go on all the areas, but I'm getting pretty close to being finished. I'm getting closer to being finished with May as well. I have done the details and I only have a few more layers to go on the eyes. And then I should be finished soon. So this is heavily inspired by Pedelga houses. I could be pronouncing that wrong, which are really tall buildings. I went along that idea and I've seen a pentagon shape house, so I was kind of going on that idea of that would be the base cardboard where I build up from. And I tried to figure out layering and if I wanted a square house and I was just like going through ideas. And that's something, if I went with the pentagon idea, it would look something like that, but I wasn't too sure if that's what I wanted as it's quite complex and this is like a short film so you couldn't really take in that detail so I thought I would go something simple where you can kind of understand it better so if you were to look at it you could kind of take in the detail rather than it being too overcomplicated and then after that I kind of came to a finished idea of what the house would look like so here I have this is a very square house and that was kind of my inspiration from the Doga Chinese houses, which I think are really cool, like those houses, I love the architecture style. This is like a square down here, as I've labelled. Then I go up a story, which would be quite like a bigger square, and then that would be like a fence or gate there. And these are both like doors, which I'm probably going to add curtains in, but I haven't really thought about that too much. Then I add a roof on top, again with the whole rounded or like flat straight on roof. I have not decided, but I do know I want it to be like wooden planks, as that's a traditional style. And I was going to spray paint this with white matte spray paint, but I would make these poles red, this grey or black, as I've labelled at the top also. So that was some of the brief planning I did for the sets. As you can see, that is like I do try and think about the sets a lot and I put lots of thought into everything in my videos. 
So I didn't do much planning with that, I tried to keep it brief so I could just start making because I was quite excited for this video. And on like Procreate which is an iPad app, where I would like digitally draw it and make- I might do that later on because I like to bring in art and like drawing into my videos so I can kind of have another outlet for my ideas and continue to create with inspiration. I'm currently making May's house which I have cut out with a craft knife and used a ruler to make sure the measurements were right. And I've got my glue sticks, hot glue gun, and a mat. I've got straws, these are paper straws so they can be recycled and easier to cut and I'm going to be using those for the poles and fences. Yeah, let's start gluing. So here I have the first bit I've done. So I've cut out a door using my craft knife and done the bottom of it, the sides and the top. So now I'm going to be doing the balcony and the other square on top and the roof. I've now added the second room, so now there's like a little room at the top and at the bottom. And I'm now going to work on the poles, fence and the roof. And now here we have the completed fences, which I have used straws for. And I'm super happy with how it looks. All I need to do now is hang some string here for the lanterns and I'm going to go spray paint it. I've now built the walls for the set I'm making, which is going to be the village. So now I'm going to be adding the houses and figuring that out. Now I've added the ground to the village, so I'm going to add some houses along here and down there and going to put like sand on the bottom to be like dirt and then put bricks along the walls to make it look like brick balls. And then I decided I'd bring the houses out so they weren't connected to the walls but they were like built along here. Earlier on I was planning the houses and I wanted to just go more in depth with that because I was a bit confused on how I would do it. So here is some of the planning and here are my ideas of trying to figure out what kind of material I should use and like what kind of the door would look like and the roof and the door. Another update I have successfully made four of these houses and now I'm going to be cutting out the small pieces to glue on the roof to make it look like wooden planks and then I will be spray painting them white and be painting the roofs like a grey brown colour. I finished spray painting the house walls on all of these. I have done all four of these mini houses for the village and this one for May's house. So now I'm going to go on to painting the roofs and all of them as well as the poles and things and then we'll be done with these houses. I have finished painting all the village houses. Here is the start to a dress I am making for an LPS. And I'm about to put the elastic in so it actually isn't like flat. It is all starting to come together after a few months. Like currently it is March 22nd and I started this project like the end of January. So it is, it's been a while since I've been quite busy. But I finished the customs today and I am ready to start filming probably over the next few days. Some of the props I'm making so I can make it even better and this quality it possibly can be. I finished the village set, all the houses are finished and I've put the sand on and the bricks and painted it all and I've finished the house, I've got the grass but all I need to do is add the background behind it and I've started setting up some new lights and I'm all ready to go, that's what I'm working on currently. Here is the final dress. I added the lace and the ribbon and added the elastic. As you can probably see, it is finished and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So I attempted at making one of those traditional hats, but that didn't really work in the format that I did. It's toothpicks that I tried to send the top to make it more pointy and tried to cut this, but it just didn't work. So then I got out my green stuff and mixed it together and tried to make this and I used a toothpick to like 
make the engraving thing here and then tomorrow once it's dried I'm going to paint that. I also made some lanterns and I drew on them and put some designs that were also Chinese themed. I am pretty happy with them even though they are a bit big but that's okay. The background is also printed out as well so I'm all ready to go soon to start filming. Hey guys it's Lily here and I have finished filming for the day. I'm so excited for this film because I've just started filming and I'm so excited. I finished all the costumes, the accessories and all that jazz so I'll be continuing filming tomorrow. Today is the 28th of March and that is a wrap everyone. I have finished filming and I shall continue editing with what I've filmed because I filmed this in two parts. So I am ready to edit it all together but first I thought I'll give you guys a like set tour of all the sets that I've got currently out so yeah are you guys ready? I am so excited for you guys to see them because this took me so long like I've been doing this since January and it's like April in like three days so yeah I hope you guys enjoy. So here I have the village set it's got all the characters from the village well I've got some of them over here but like most of them are here where it is all set up and it's got all the banners and things and it's got Nian, the old man, the lady, dragon, things like that. And over here I've got May's house and her grandma and her mother's house and it is all set up. It has got lanterns and it's got all the curtains and I've got a backdrop over here, flowers and bushes and all that jazz. I have honestly been so excited to share this whole video with you guys. I've done some little teasers on Instagram. I've got a folder on there if you'd like to see more behind the scenes. I'll be posting more photos of behind the scenes and photos from the film once I've finished. And if you want to watch it, you can go click on the link down below to watch it. Because as you're watching this currently, it'll be live, it'll be uploaded, which is hard to believe right now. When I was in the middle of an even bigger project, like, you thought this was big, there was an even bigger project that I haven't really filmed behind this. But I will probably do, like, the concept art behind that one, and maybe, like, a set tour. Make sure to go watch Legend of Nine, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!